So here we are in the dark hall and the last time I showed you how I was going to create the ceiling and what I need to do right now is I need to do some concrete for up here. All right, so I'm on the concrete material there and I've got just my principal BSDF here. And what I'm gonna be doing is following this thing that I put together so I can remember the steps that I want to do and have the values that I want. All right, now as you can see here, I've got these numbers here which indicate the order that I'm going to do this in. So I want two principal BSDFs to do this. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, because it's concrete, I'm going to take the specular down and I'm going to bring the roughness up to 0 0.8. And I want two of these principal BSDFs, so I'm just going to duplicate that down there. And I want to mix them together, so I'm going to press Shift A shader mix shader and drop that in and i'm going to just drag this up so there's two two of them and this is going to form our base concrete this one i'm going to drop down to almost like a mid gray color and this one yeah, i could just leave right around there that's fine otherwise they have the same the same values okay the next thing we're going to do is uh some basic sort of dark and light areas utilizing those so i'm going to be bringing in a texture a musgrave texture and i'm going to press ctrl t with the node wrangler enabled and drag this uv we'll be using uvs so let's jump back over here so this is what i've got step three okay i've got my mapping my coordinate node and i'm plugged into the vector here this musgrave is going to go into a color ramp and then it's going to go into the fac of the mix shader so let's just get some uh, values in the color ramp in here right now so we'll take this and we'll go converter color ramp i'm going to take that the height is going to get plugged into here and i'll plug that in in just a minute so let's just focus on the musgrave and the color ramp okay the color ramp as you can see is almost white here or white and very light gray and that's something that you can vary if you want i'll show you what what that does but let's just take that right there and bring that up somewhere around here and now we're going to look at the values for the musgrave let's go with 2 15 0 and 2. so let's go 2 15 for the detail zero for the dimension and I'm going to switch this to multifractal as well multifractal okay we'll go ahead and we'll plug that in uh, over here in the come from color into the fact given a moment and you can see we get this appearance here and so this is where I was saying if you change the color of this you could get it darker or lighter so I just want it somewhere in there so if we go back to layout and we have a look or I look through my camera all right and that camera is not in the in its final position or anything you can see this is our this is our base and then you you know you can adjust these values if you want to, to change some things all right so with that the next thing we want are the little tiny dots to give it some texture so we're going to use a noise texture with a very high scale high detail as well a bump and we're going to bring that into the second principal bsf you could bring it into both but i just find bringing it into the second one that's got the white which is uh, generally a little bit more prevalent than the dark i find that's good enough so let's let's do that let's, let's bring in a noise texture we're going to need a noise texture we're going to need a vector bump so grab that all right and we're going to come out of the fact into the height and let's drag this stuff here down a little bit we're going to use this mapping coordinate into the vector and this one is going to come down it's going to get plugged into there but what we can do is we can shift click on that and give it a second and we'll get that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this up to about 500 get all these dots so let's just double check the values here on this one 500 i'm going to go for a detail of 16 0.5 okay so we'll bring up the detail on that and that is fine as it is of course we'll have to adjust these values but let's uh, just come back here i'll shift click on there 
and we'll plug this in and then actually let's just lower it right now so you're going to be insane so uh, in terms of the bump value we're looking at about 0 0.15 you adjust that to taste so i'll try 0 0.15 and we'll drag that into the normal of the second principal psdf and we'll get our dots and that looks fine it doesn't have to be on both of them that looks fine to me okay so our texture you can you can go higher or lower change the scale whatever you whatever you like and we just come over to the to the room view it's going to be very dependent on light so uh we'll just keep that in mind okay so we've got that so what's next we have done step five and six good all right so now let's add just a little bit of damage and we're done it's very simple we're going to add some damage with the noise texture into a color ramp and another bump. And then we're going to break up that damage uh, using a second noise texture. So one noise texture into a color ramp and into a bump. So, um, oh, by the way, I think I may invert this. I'm going to just do that. Give it a second. And just, the dots would go in. All right. So I'm going to take this and shift D to duplicate it. And we'll take let's take this noise texture and duplicate it down here. And we can even duplicate it one more time. So we'll be using that. All right, we're going to have a color ramp in between here. And I'm going to take the fact of the first noise and plug it in. And I'm going to take the color and plug it into the height. And now let's get some values for this and then we'll see what the effect is. So here I'm going to use 12 for the scale, 16, and then I'll change the roughness a little bit. But notice the, the tightness of, of those right there. So we'll, we'll bring these in close together and we'll see what this does. So let's just bring that close together. Uh, let me just, before I do anything, have a look at the bump. Okay, this is about halfway up and it's on invert. Okay, so let's just do let's do 0 0.5. Five, seven. I might as well use similar numbers and then we'll we'll go from there so what was this 16 or something uh, I just want to come back 12 and 16 0 0.592 12 okay 12 for the scale 16 for that and 0 0.59 0 0.59 the two won't really make much of a difference uh, before I plug the second noise in I'm just gonna put it over there grab these and bring them down a bit We'll plug this into the vector. And this is actually going to go on the line here. So let me uh, let me uh, disconnect that for the moment. Just drop that on there and then drag it in. So you can see what it's done here. It's, it's create some damage there. Now, let's play around with this here because this is going to be important moving these all right so that's that effect if you're going for that earth effect I just want a little bit of damage so I'm putting that here and bringing that one kind of close so let's say you go for that and that looks okay even as it is let's just flip back to layout and see try a different lighting I'll try the world lighting all right but then I thought you know I kind of want to break that up and have it I mean I like the the base concrete and the dots and I, I just I don't want too much of this and so that's why we've got that second noise there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that drop it on let it connect these values will have to be adjusted though and so let's have a look at what kind of values I want. I want 4, 8, 0 0.633. So this one here, I'm going to switch to 4, 8, and 0 0.633. There, see what that's done? Really split it up into smaller pieces. Now, if I play with that roughness, you know, you can get a, a really different thing you know whatever it is that you're looking for and so then it's just a question of tweaking any values in the color ramp whatever you like and that is the effect that I'm going for right there just small little nicks out of it uh, here and there uh, again it will really depend on the light but that's my simple concrete 
and here's a post-processed look at that all right so so far we've got the modeling done we've got the ceiling i can put dirt on it if i want i'm not sure if i'm going to i can put dirt and stuff on here uh the, the one other thing that i may be adding is some ambient occlusion with the ambient occlusion note it's getting into the corners and stuff we could deal with that towards the end but i've got the ceiling i've got the concrete the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to move on to the bricks i'm going to show you how i'm going to do that i'll move on to the bottom tiling floor here and then i'm thinking a little bit of ambient occlusion and some blood stains i may not go crazy with leaks and stuff like that but uh, that's where we are so all in blender and hopefully we'll just continue that way and uh, you'll like the final product all right so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video when we work on the bricks